obviously just the best thing to take qu take questions, I think. If you were to sum up the last uh, three weeks, are you happy with the job you've done? Uh, well, we won three games out of four. I'm happy about that. Um, I, I think what we've done is try to clean it up to uh, accumulate draft picks. They don't play, so we now have to use them to acquire other assets, whether it be pick or trade, at a later date. Uh, but overall, I think uh, we now have the door open for a number of young people to get a chance, and we'll get an evaluation as we go towards the end of the year. Um, hopefully we'll win some hockey games, and we'll, uh, you know, as I say, get, get to draft day and, and uh, have a chance to restart this organization. Well, some time ago, uh, we had had a plan or drew up the names that we would try to keep, uh, that uh, we would move on. Um, Chris was one of the people that uh, we thought we'd be going by come summertime. He was restricted. Uh, I, I had sort of made up my mind I wasn't going to qualify him if I if I couldn't. Uh, and it's not necessarily fair to him, but uh, uh, that because of a couple of young guys coming and that uh, we thought in our interest and, and his interest as well to get a chance to go to a playoff team and we were able to get a second round pick uh, for him, uh, that it was the right thing to do. Conditional seventh, is that anything to do with the Coppola? No, the, the conditional seventh is uh, only if, if we decide to, to re-sign Ryan Paltuni, uh, that uh, we will pay the seventh. If we don't, then it goes away. And the conditional second is uh, the um, they Chicago have three, and uh, I gave him the opportunity to take at 48 hours before the draft to take the third of, of the seconds to give to us. Phillips, are you happy to have that done? I'm very happy to have it done. We had talked about Chris. We know that. Early in the year, we uh, he didn't have his best going. We think uh, he's considerably better and has lots left in the tank. Uh, he definitely wanted to stay here. Well, we talked long and hard at, at different stages during the course of the last month or more. I talked to Chris and then to his agent a number of times to make sure that uh, the commitment uh, was there, and he, it, it obviously is. We asked him to take somewhat of a cut, uh, which he did. Uh, I know that there were there were probably eight teams called about him. Uh, at least eight. There might have been more than that that called and inquired about his availability. Um, so I, I just felt that with a number of young people coming into the organization, we have a couple of anchors now. We have, and I don't mean it in a negative way. I mean in, in a mentoring sort of way. That we have Chris, we have Alfie. We have Jason and we have Chris Neal that we, we felt from the 07 team if we could keep them and, and they're good people, they care about this organization, they want to be better going forward. Uh, when young people come into this, I think we've got an example of people that work hard, that are loyal and that will help us. Uh, Ryan, can you offer a comment on the, how the goaltending is going to shake down here now? With Curtis in the well, Curtis will be here as our second goaltender. Um, Pascal uh, went down and played in Binghamton, but indicated that uh, he would be out for a number of games going forward, probably more than less. I thought by getting down there for the weekend and playing one or two games that he would uh, be ready to back up, but it was certainly indicated to me that the groin is still a real issue, uh, that uh, he, he, it's unlikely he'll play in the next while. So I had to have a, a backup, and I didn't want it to be Robin Leonard. I wanted Robin to go down and play, uh, be important down there, have the pressure of playing in games and meaningful games at the end. They're fighting and playing. Obviously, we think going to play in the playoffs, and it'll be important for him to go through that process when you're 19. He's, he's convinced he could stay here and play, and that, but uh, I'd like him to drive, to drive on a bus the odd time, and that will, that will help him. You'll essentially finish this season then with two different goaltenders than you started with? Yes, that's not necessarily the plan, but that's happened. Did you, uh, did you look at Conklin? Brian, he was available too. I mean, he, makes about a, he makes about a million seven or something, and, and uh, Curtis makes 500. 
are you just sort of declared? I mean, is he out of the picture here, or do you think there's a chance he comes back and could play somewhere the rest of this year? So oh, I, I thought I just said that he's probably out. Well, no, I, I okay. Yeah, he's, I'm not counting on him. If he comes back and plays, he comes back and plays. But at this point, he's been waived. If we want him to go and we want to see him play some playoff games, we could even do that. It's only coming here, Brian? Yes, he's coming here. Uh, he, he's a guy that played in the NHL a, a bit. He, we just included him in the deal because we were so short of players. And again, it's, it's an unfair statement on my part, but we needed – we need some bodies here. We need some forwards here. He's coming in. He's going to play at the big club at the end of the year or until the end of the year. We will look at him like we, we are with other people and, and uh, try to give him a fair uh, evaluation and decide if we're doing anything going forward. Part of that, too, is to help get a young kid maybe back to Binghamton. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest objective of, of it all. We actually try to acquire another more veteran guy playing in the minors so we could do that thing with another young player, but uh, it didn't work out, so we are what we are right now. You're talking to Chris, did you have to sell him on the rebuilding plan in Europe? No, no, he was convinced that he wanted to be here, that I think we all see, and I know it's hard for people outside the group to, to see that we have a chance to get competitive, uh, hopefully in a little shorter period of time than we uh, we talk about, but uh, we'll see that. But I know Chris, uh, uh, he, he didn't have to be convinced about anything. Did you find Brian B then in the offseason help this available cap room uh, space that you have to go hard at the free agent market? No, we, we feel very strongly that we, we will draft one young player that should play in this hockey team next year that we have several young players here that uh, through the last 20 games or whatever will show that they're capable of uh, contributing. Bobby Butler, people of that nature. Uh, we know that we have two defensemen that we can bring in that we can step in and play. It's just a matter of putting them on the team if we want to do that. So we probably would try, to, without a question, to, try to sign a top six forward uh, at, from the free agent market or through a draft uh, at, at the deadline to to make or not de at the draft to, to make a trade that to use one of those picks to get a player that maybe some other team can't afford to keep or whatever and then we'll see where our depth is after that I'm going to ask you about those picks that at the draft or whatever are you okay with packaging the first or whatever for players or yeah, we've done a variety of things over the years uh, we packaged two seconds and got a first and got Corey Perry and you know we we've been you know we're responsible here to re retool this. Uh, you know, and I've said this before, there were a few years that there were no players acquired in the draft, really. And uh, we've watched some players go away, and we've, we've, we didn't think we were going to be this caliber of team this year. We thought we'd be considerably better, but it, it's not that way. So uh, I think we have an idea of what we can do going forward to either trade two seconds and get another first and draft or, or trade a, a draft pick for a, a player that uh, will step in and be able to play. But he won't be an old player. He'll be hopefully a younger player that uh, we will try to do. But there's there's a variety of ways of doing things, and we just hope we do the right thing. No, I, I had uh, up until now I had one player I wanted to move, and it was one of two. Uh, I, I, I moved the one player, but that, other than that, there was no plan to do it. I, I, I guess we talked about Chris Neal. I did have several inquiries. I had several inquiries on Jason Spads. I had several inquiries on a couple of other more veteran guys. And, and for, for the time being, I think we've got the core that we need to, to start over, and, and uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, be a good start. Right, you ended up with the, the final tally, as you probably ended up with five picks for this year plus your own? I guess that's pretty Yeah, I think that's right. I think we've got uh, two firsts, three seconds. I think a total of 12. That's right. Yeah. And then also in Binghamton, it'll be Barry Rustin, Robin Leonard. Yeah, at this point in time, that's who the plan is is to use. And I told Robin he's going to have to fight awfully hard to get the net from Barry because Barry, just all he does is win. So you better go there. and He's not bigger than Barry, but he's hopefully tougher and push him out of the net the odd night.
when you start uh, talking to Anderson's agents about a deal at any point sooner? Well, you have. Yeah. How's that going so far? Good. Yeah. yeah no, we'll we'll talk. We'll see. I mean, I want to watch him play. We have. Uh, uh, after the first game, I, I had to I had to talk to him. I mean, the guy was pretty good for us, so I, I, I I'll wait and see. But we'll we'll watch him play and, and go for it. I hope that uh, Craig doesn't have to play every night. We don't we don't want that to be the case. We're going to play Curtis a little bit here too. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, see where we're going and, and make an evaluation as, as we do it. Is there any update on Colligan that will be a factor in body? Yeah, he's uh, he's hurting. And uh, he probably won't play again for a while. Is there much interest in Phil Kubit? Phil Kubit, no. A couple of calls early on. There were a couple of calls uh, that uh, I had one today again, uh, but you know they went and made another deal and, and got a different player. What did you think of the activity today? It wasn't that much, really. Great show, so you guys, it's all kinds of material for writers and after the shows were good. Did you think there'd be less or more? No, I think it's normal. I think it's fairly normal. We all anticipate uh, people doing whatever they have to do to, to, to win a cup, but we know full well that there's one winner. And you, you, all you try to do over the course of time is be competitive, get into the playoffs, and, and see what happens. But you can't totally, uh, you know, jeopardize the, the the young people in your franchise to get that one player that you think will get you over the hump. And and I think you saw that again today. Are you uh, energized by this process of trying to rebuild the team? Yeah, I, I think it's, you know, in our business, you try to win every year. You try to do what you have to do, and and so. If you don't have the young feeder system coming, then you do other things, and we did some other things to, to upgrade our opportunity. It, and obviously, uh, you see there was a need, and some of the players that we traded elsewhere, uh, from what I hear, and talking to managers and coaches and, and listening to the, the media, they're going to be good acquisitions for the other team. So we felt we did the right thing. It didn't work. It didn't for whatever reason here. So you see these young guys come in now, and they played so darn hard the other night. That's what I said to Corey after the Philly game. The first period, we were kind of looking at the puck. But after that, we just worked, and it almost looked like the other team got a little tired of working that hard, and we were able to take advantage of it. And that will be the fun part of going forward. We'll have some high-energy players. I watched Edmonton a little bit. They got some high energy players. They have to do a few more things, like we have to do a number of things. But eventually, it, it, well, it gets exciting to start off with, and eventually these kids become not just kids anymore, become good hockey players in the league. So that's exciting to watch that happen. And I've gone through it a few times, but uh, not from where we are right now. We were a little higher up when we started. Can you see yourself carrying the plan through to the end? I don't know what the end might be. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Brian, from a, from a personal standpoint, now that it's over, has this been maybe the toughest month when you had the phone with five or six guys? And yeah, it's, the year has been the toughest year I've gone through in, in hockey. It, it is. I've been coaching high school to junior to American League to, to here. It's been the toughest year. It's been hard watching players that you thought were better than they are play the way they did some nights. So that's been hard. Trading away some of the, a couple of the players I've traded away have been very difficult. You know, you, you get to like people in this business, you get to work with people, you get to know them very well and their families, and, and that's difficult. But it's what happens and what you have to do. And, and so it's been tough, but the end result we hope will be very worthwhile, and that's what we're hoping for. Now we put the pressure on the scouts to go do their job. Say that the kind of stripping down of this team is done or that? Well, I, I don't think in hockey or in sport it's ever done. I, I think you keep changing and you get to a certain level and then you have to do something else to bring in a different type or different role of a player. I, you know, you'll watch Vancouver and you see they pick up a couple of guys today at the end just to kind of refine a real good hockey team. So you're never really done. Um, but we, we started. We, uh, hopefully we started. 
Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.